Hey guys, this is Amy Dodson. I'm really missing you, but I wanted to show you a neat little tool that Google has added to Google Drive, and it's the ability to take a picture on your phone and add a worksheet or a PDF or even a page of your book um, into your Google Drive and then into your classroom. And uh, for me, being able to make things editable is priceless. These are just three screenshots of my phone. If you don't have the Google Drive app, you need it. Um, if you do have it, just make sure you're logged into your school account instead of your personal one so that you don't have to fool with moving files around. So you're going to click on Google Drive on your phone, and then you're going to click the plus sign, and then you'll click Use Camera. This is all on your phone. So you take a picture of the worksheet, PDF, pages of your book, if your students don't have copies of the book at home with them. And then it doesn't, it can have shadows, doesn't have to be perfect. Then whenever you go to your Google Drive, that image is going to be there. Some of you may have a folder called scans, depending on what kind of phone you have. Uh, I myself, my pictures just show up. Uh, as image numbers and JPEG file, JPEG format. So if you right click and go to open with Google Docs, it's going to put the original picture. And I, I took a bad picture on purpose because I know lots of times we're in a hurry. And if you are trying to take pictures of a whole section of a book, you're going to be in a hurry. So um, this is how it does the, the actual scan. So you can compare it, see how things are here. The only thing it really messed up, it looks like, is the picture. And so I'm just going to take that out because there's no need for it. Okay. Also, you can see it put these in 19 point. There's never a need for 19 point. Okay. One trick that I'm going to give you. I always, anytime I have students to edit a Google Doc or a Google Sheet, I have students to put their answers in blue, a darker blue, not highlighter blue, uh, or a dark green. This just makes it extremely easy when I go through and grade on Google Classroom because uh, their answers stand out. And I'm not saying they're reading my questions and their answers every time. I just want to see their answers to make sure that they are picking up the skills. Now, I do want this graph. Like I said, this is not a good picture by any means, but I don't want the rest of it here. So we're just going to click on it, and this is the crop button, <clears throat> crop image. And make sure you get a hold of the black part here, not the blue. And that's going to crop that down. Then you're going to hit the crop button again. This handy dandy little blue dot here, when you click out hold of it, you can rotate it. And then I'm going to click and drag it down here to the bottom. So they have that. Now my kids are just going to click and hit enter. And um, my students know to click and choose blue and type their answers. But we're going to go ahead, change the name of this so that your drive is not cluttered. And when you add it to Google Classroom, it's going to have a name that makes sense. Okay. Now I'm going to click over here in my Google Classroom. Find my class, classwork, create an assignment. I would typically put more instructions there. I like to put my things by topic. And um, I've noticed some people during this remote and distance learning, they have been doing topics by week. I'm still sticking with my units because I may just copy these assignments into next year's classroom and make adjustments as I go. 
so they'll already be grouped by topic rather than the week but we're going to hit add google drive and wherever you saved it to and there it is how the communication process works and this is one thing you have to do right now you can't do this later it does not work um, I know some teachers have asked Google to change that and they're great about changing things, but they're changing a lot of things right now. So um, I don't see that happening immediately. So you're going to change this to make a copy for each student. If you have it where students can edit file, your, um, <laughs> your, your sharp student is going to jump on there, have all the answers answered and it's going to be saved. And then all the other kids are, the answers are already going to be there. They're not going to have anything to do. So you want to hit make a copy for each student and then assign. Of course, give a due date. And um, if you have something that has a rubric along with it, that's always handy to throw in there. Uh, English teachers, you'll love that there are originality reports. The other thing I want to add is if you are uh, taking pictures of a book, taking pictures of a worksheet, say off Teachers Pay te Teachers or something that came with your book, a resource, make sure and give those guys credit. Um, if it scans it and it shows it there at the bottom and it shows up in 19 point, you know, you can make that eight point and leave it there at the bottom. So uh, you're still giving credit where it's due. But good luck with that. No, I miss you. And hopefully this will ease some of your burden while we're away from our children. See ya.